All right, be right back once again. We I think it's the part four. We're trying to answer the question about the work neighborhood in the black community with all the churches. Do right here. Read a pamphlet one time. And that pamphlet was dealing with the five principles on which those of who live and was living in the current age of things and living under a certain calendar or time frame or what the Bible really trying to show us is a void. See, it's all in the Genesis, the beginning, the generation, the star, the gene, the genealogy. See, You have a door. But before you get to this door, there was already time or motion or the cause and effect already happened. There was a Infinity of greatness in time. Before you get to this door where the earth becomes void in the darkness covering over the faces of the deeps. Somebody feel it? Somebody won't. And you had at the door or in the entrance of the door cause and effect going on to bring about a new star or a new Motion, period. Because there is no time without motion. What we really think of as time is not so. But when you got inside this door, there was one created to rule or to use it's wisdom on this side of the door. But in order to have void, you have to have space. You say something is empty, you say that cup empty, you say that cup. Got space. It's void. It's empty. See? And one being ruled, one coming about to rule in this void. And then you get on the other side, but then you got another door. On the other side of this door is another Infinity or endless time, which a lot of people call heaven, the hereafter, the sweet by and by. But in between this door and that door, there was something going on. 
A lot of changes going on. That one that was created to work within that door that it come in on this side. It can only go in between this door and the other door. It cannot go beyond either side of those doors. It can only fill the void. It had no strength or no power. It has no knowledge, no wisdom to get from the other side of this door to the other side of that door. It got to do all this work in between the two doors. And two things cannot occupy the same space. Me and my daddy, that's who I live with y'all, we can't sit on the same commode at the same time. We can't drink out the same glass at the same time. I cannot fill this glass up, this cup up with water and milk at the same time. So if I'm going to have water in it, milk going to have to sit down. The one who will create a rule in that time frame and to do it work could only use sketches of wisdom that were already left behind. It really had no knowledge of itself because it created whatever created it, sat it down in the Genesis. And brought things to it. And whatever Adam called it. That's what it was. But to simplify the thing. A little bit more. And, and let's see can we go on and deal with the conspiracy. Or why did all the churches and this, that and all. In the black community, and I must say this too, it's not just what we see as the black community. You have a thing that's called genotype, which has to do with your gene, as in Genesis and genetic beginning, and you have a thing that's called phenotype. Had to do with features and looks of things. Just because something looked like an orange don't mean it's an orange all the time. I say what we looking at is a conspiracy. Or better yet, a wise plan. By some people who on the same team. But make up think they'll get one another. Now, according to a document that some people hold up. The greatest document in the world, they call it Constitution. See? Constitution. Well, then that is said that there was a separation between the church and the state. Don't get mad at me. You can pull it up online and read it yourself. Information now. 
You seek it, you'll find it. And kind of allow my thought there a little bit. But they make a thing, they get one another in, in, in the Constitution. That's why I want the cons in the Constitution. Constitution said to separate between church and state. Well, what's the difference between the church and the state? The way they're looking and the way it's written, what it's kind of saying is that the church is supposed to be its own body politic. Not beholden to the laws and statutes and policies and procedures and codes of the state. That it was its own body politics with its own laws, its own governmental system. Hmm. Something to think about. Well, if there's a separation between the church and the state, why is your preacher license coming from the state? Well, he got to be licensed through the state. I'm just asking a question. Maybe somebody can answer that. We got people that's in the paralegal. We got people that's in the law. We got people who know contracts and stuff. We got to use our talent to help each other. And stop playing, I'm betting you. Because I got a job. Because I'm the first one to live over here in this neighborhood. Oh, I just bought me a new Toyota to sell. See? Well, I got my little own car wash business. You know, whatever it is we do, we got to work together. Who we know all things, one to the other. We got everything we need. Well, Kenny Ken and Bobby wrap that thing up. Running about 13 minutes again. We'll close out right here, and we'll be back, and in the next 10, 12 minutes, Kenny King will wrap this thing up and finish answering the question about all the churches in the black neighborhood. And hopefully you have time to show y'all there's another institution there too in the black neighborhood. Or urban, ghetto, project, you know, underprivileged, you have to learn the cold words.